ramen there. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? That was the worst slurp I've ever seen. I'm eating it like you're supposed to. Well, good afternoon, travelers. We are back down at Disney Springs, and it is a busy Saturday. You know we hate to come down here, but I had an anchoring for some Morimoto's, and instead of going to the restaurant, which you can get reservations on Open Table, we decided to come try Morimoto Street Food right over here. It is their walk-up quick service, so we're going to give them a try. So come on, let's see what they have to offer us. Okay, travelers, we just got all of our food right here on the table. Um, they call you from the window, so you have to go pick it up at the window. We got a sparkling boba green tea, which is actually made with Sprite and mango popping bobas. And we have a Coca-Cola right there. Give this a try. And of course, the big boba straw. You got to get used to that. That's good with the mango. And by the way, Michelle showed the straw. Paper straws for the Coke. So sad, so sad. Agave, please. But this mango popping boba are really good down there. Really refreshing. But the Sprite adds a nice sweetness to it. So this is pretty good. We got an order of the taco yaki balls, which are octopus fritter, okonoma sauce, nori, bonita flakes, and pickled ginger. And there are six of those in the little package there, and those are $11. So we're going to give these a try. Michelle, Michelle handed me chopsticks. She tries so hard. She really does. Everything comes in paper containers, by the way, when you get a eat out here at Morimoto Street Food to try these. So Takoyaki. Takoyaki. And here is a fun fact. We actually have one of these little things to make the takoyaki. We do? Yes, we do. But here's the takoyaki ball. It's octopus and you can definitely smell. Definitely smell it. So, here we go. Oh my gosh, I can barely hold this. Okay. The nice crispy exterior does not match the gooey interior. <laughs> yeah, no, um, no. That's a, uh, those are, I will eat these because I won't make food, but those are a hard pass for me. Uh, they're good. I mean, they got ginger, the soy flavor, everything. They've got great flavor. I just don't like the texture. How about you, Chef? I don't think there's anything about it I like. <laughs> I'm gonna try another one. Maybe, maybe, in, maybe I'm being a little harsh. No, I'm not. And I'm hungry and I don't like it. No. What is the red stuff on the top? Octopus fritter, okonomi sauce, okonomi sauce. And you can taste the chunks of Bonito octopus in there. Flakes, whatever that is. I mean, I, I know there's octopus in that, but. Pickled ginger at all. No, those are well, not for me. That's the street food. So those are the machines yeah. that we see them turn. Mm -hmm. The little cast yeah, iron thing. We do, have one, we do so have one of those. So let's see what else we're going to have. Okay, we're going to try the ribs. I mean, and, they aren't kidding. They are baby ribs. And they are baby ribs right there. But these are supposedly supposed to be what they serve inside. Here you normally get three, but since these are smaller ribs, they gave us four today. So we're going to give these a try. We do have sauce if you need it for anything. Soy sauce. What else is there? Mustard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
mustard. Let's see, sriracha sauce. chili sauce, soy Sweet sauce, sour. hobby hot mustard, and so regular soy sriracha sauce. Sriracha so. chili. Yeah, so they give you all the packets. They give you the chopsticks. They give you the forks. I thought you were trying the so ribs. Okay, we're gonna try the ribs. There's the rib right there. I'm gonna let Michelle pick her rib. Pick a rib. I feel bamboozled. Though. Why do you feel bamboozled? Because you said that it's just Sprite with boba in it. Yeah. That's it. It's like it. There's no. Other I think there's some green tea with the boba. But that's pretty much it. Green tea. All so, right. Well, anyway. Here's the rib. Like I said, this is what Morimoto's is known for, right here in Disney Springs. So we're gonna give these a try. Okay. Yeah. These are good. It's a sweet, sweet glaze on the outside. And I think they're, are they rolled in panko? Not panko, but um, there's a flour coating, but I can't remember what it is. Tapioca starch? I don't know. I'm not what sure it is, but it's a thin, light, crisp. Hoisin sweet chili glaze. Yeah, it's a hoisin sweet chili glaze. But these are really good. I'm glad they gave us four today. Well, so this is the ramen we got. And actually, it was a different ramen today. It wasn't the one that was described. They called this a Hawaiian ramen because it's got pork and um, it doesn't have the cilantro and stuff. It's got bok choy and all the noodles in there. So looks really good a very good portion and this was $16 so we're gonna give this a try little bok choy little ramen there oh my gosh what are you doing that was the worst slurp I've ever seen I mean you got like you're supposed to if, no, uh, mm. yeah okay no no that's good oh. You're supposed to, I never knew this, and Michelle taught me this. You're not supposed to bite ramen, you're supposed to slurp it up. So that's why that bite looked horrible. I apologize for that. Yeah, but that wasn't a slurp. <laughs> that was the best slurp I could get going. I don't know what that was. <laughs> that is the best slurp I could get. <laughs> so that's it, but that ramen is really good. The bok choy was really good in that, and the pork, and the broth is really good. So that, I think, is, I'd pay $16 for that bowl of ramen. Yeah, that's a good value. So, so far, the only thing is, I pass on the octopus balls. Ribs are fantastic. Yeah, that's good. The ramen's really good. You want to try the rice next? Sure. We're going to try the rice next. Just avoid the onions. I'm, I'm going to eat it like it's supposed to be eaten. So here it is. This is the rice. That has the teriyaki glaze, sesame scallions, and pickle chicken. Okay, teriyaki glaze, sesame and scallions. What's the red stuff? Are we figuring out what the red stuff is? It's that... Um, Bonito flakes. Bonito flakes. Okay, here we go. Which really, I guess, doesn't say what it is. Oh, this is, it feels like it's the end of the ribs. Okay. Got a little bit of everything. Got scallion rice, bonito flakes, and meat right there. It's... First thing that hits you is the um, ginger. But the scallions with that are chopped so finely. That, that is really good. And the pork is nice and tender, not too chewy. Got a sweet um, soy glaze to it, so the that's really good. The flakes are fish. It's bonito fish. Oh, the red flakes are bonito fish. I did not know that. But it's quite tasty in that dish. So I would, I'd recommend that dish also. It's good. It's not not as good as the ramen. The I'd get the, is good. I'd get the ramen over the this rice bowl. So far, so far, that's what we think. Okay, and for our final <laughs> dishes, chicken lemongrass dumpling, which is chicken and lemongrass, the pork egg roll, which is pork and cabbage, and the barbecue pork bun, which is soft bao bun and pork. The chicken lemongrass is three dollars, the pork egg roll is six, and the barbecue pork bun is seven dollars today. Try the dumpling first. Like. These are good. Nice and crispy. Oh, not a steam dumpling there, a fried dumpling. But it's a lemongrass. Is it worth three dollars? I would say so for an order. Three dollars might be a little pricey. <laughs> 
six dollars for three that's two dollars a piece i can see that these aren't these are really good so now we're going to try the egg roll right there typical egg roll it's got pork and cabbage in it so let's give these a try nice and crispy Okay, our last item for today is the Pork Bowman. It's so cute. If you ever seen the Disney short bow, pretty hard touching. If you haven't, go watch it, but we're going to give this a try. I bit mine, but Michelle's smarter than I am. She ripped it apart like that. That's the way I should have done it. But the bow is really, the bun itself is nice and sweet. Got a nice sweet texture on it. But the pork in there is really good. I'd get this again too. I like these. I like these a lot. My favorite's with the ramen. Yep, so all in all, the $16 for the ramen we think is a great value. If it's a quick something quick you want to grab grab the ramen a coke for 450 20 bucks you've got a quick lunch I'm not saying it's the cheapest quick lunch here at disney springs but it's a quick lunch my synopsis would be this is just food if you're hungry and you love asian come grab a quick bite but if you're looking for the morimoto experience go yeah. inside go yeah. to the restaurant she's nailed out 100 if you want the morimoto experience go inside this is something you can grab a bun and walk away with. The ramen. Well, that's what it is. It's yeah, food. it's street food. You're supposed to be walking around with it. I don't think I could walk around with a bowl of ramen, though. But it's street food at restaurant prices. Yeah. She nailed it. Yeah, you're exactly right. Street food at restaurant prices. So, if you get a chance, make a reservation. And by the way, always check open table for Morimoto's. Because they use open table for the reservation system you can get them on my disney experience app but there's always there's usually always reservations available on open table for morimoto's michelle said my slurp was not appropriate which i don't think it was okay so Same the end. she's teaching me now okay i think i got this maybe i shouldn't take such a big bite too there, there, that's good. All right. Well, that's okay. not okay. Go ahead. Try it. Okay, I got a little bite. I started a little. It's hard to do it with a fork. Go ahead. Is that better? Close. Yeah. I got stuff all over my face. Well, right. But to keep the noodle, you use your chopstick and you do that. Your chopsticks keep it from flapping. All these rules and regulations about this ramen eating. Like an envelope. Okay. So if you like a bigger bite, you can put that out flat, and you're gonna grab it and grab. I can't. Look, see, grab the noodles. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, see, look at that. I can't all right. do that with a... And then you put it in your, lean over, <laughs> you put it in your mouth, and you go to the side of your mouth, and now slurp. Well, you got to lean over. <laughs> you got to lean over to catch the juice, but that was not bad. See and how you get a bigger bite. It's not bad. It was a bigger bite. It'll take me a while to get to that. But it, I really do like that ramen. Yeah, just Noodles, like that. There we go. So in your mouth. Lean over. There you go. And slurp. Perfect. Say, look at that. <laughs> it's a whole new world of ramen eating for Todd. What an experience. So, all in all, the food was good. It's a quick service food. The ribs, definitely the ribs. The ramen, if they've got the Hawaiian ramen, definitely go with that. The rice bowl was okay. Octopus balls, a hard no. Um, the egg roll was typical egg roll. The um, pot stickers. Not really a fan. The price threw me out of the dumplings. Yeah. The pot stickers. Yeah, the dumplings were a little pricey, yeah, we thought. The octopus balls, even though I hate to throw away food. There's three in that package. I cannot. I just can't eat them. Oh yeah. So those were, other than that, everything was. Broken. Those were very different. Yeah. Quick. It's a quick grab. You guys, that was like worse than the oyster. 
Ooh. Remember the oyster from the boathouse? We'll link that video down below. She did not do good with the oyster on that. Yeah, one. and that I'm surprised that I, I got think, that down. I think I, I think enjoyed the, the oyster more than I yeah. enjoyed that. So the crispy coating helped, but it's yeah. that inside gelatinous. Yeah. That's what it is. It's gelatinous. Oh yeah. You're right. So but all yeah. in all, everything was pretty good. Travelers. We had a great time here today at Morimoto's. Learned some new tricks on eating the ramen with the chopsticks. But like we always say, until next time, travel and adventure is out there.